I have an excuse to make yet another individual mini charcuterie board for your friends and family. This is going to be set on your beautiful table setting for any holiday, any party, anything you have in the coming months. So make sure to keep watching. I'm gonna give you two different ideas in how to get this on your table for your guests. I'm Jordan, this is Amazing Grace Boards, and on this channel, all I do is meat and cheese. That's all I talk about, that's all I build. So if that is something you love, consider subscribing. But if you also need some other ideas for individual boards, whether it's on the go, for a party, make sure to click the link right here. I'm gonna give you the playlist that I have, and let's just jump right into this video. All right, let's get started with these two boards. These are two different options. One, I got nervous because I didn't know if I would be able to fit everything on that tiny board, which I'm very proud to say I did, but I did have a backup that was from a store called Daiso here in Nevada. I have got um, options to find different miniature boards, but the one to the far left is from Hobby Lobby. So I'll link what I can but just do your best to find a board that fits inside your dining plate. That's the only thing I would highly recommend. So I've got a smoked goat cheese here. I just basically cut them down. It was a perfect wedge, so it was simple to get a triangle out of it. And then I cut that down the center to make them a little bit smaller. And now I'm just figuring out how I'm gonna fan this out at the edge of my board, most likely. And now I have a aged Gouda which I'm just gonna crumble. I'm gonna just break off some pieces so that I can find and, and pile them up as high as possible because usually when you have to slice something, it takes up more space, but a mini brie would have been perfect on probably the board to the right, or you could have even sliced the brie down. So if you don't find some of these or don't prefer these flavor profiles, try a brie cut that down in quarters and use one of those slices or those pieces on the board. That would be perfect with some like caramelized onion jam. That's really good together. So I've got my salami that basically I'm, I am um, stacking. So I'm folding it in um, half and then I'm almost folding it in a quarter and I'm like chaining it together if that makes sense. And I'm also going to probably, or I end up, yes, I end up doing two salami roses on the smaller board, which is great. So you each got four pieces of salami in both boards. So I thought that was a great, a great thing because I did not think I'd get that many. This here is a mini disc. It is dried figs and almonds. And so it's all pulsed together, flattened out. And I just quartered them and I figured those would go really great with the cheese and it brings in a little bit of a sweet aspect along with this inspiration to the whole board was a miniature maple leaf candy that I found at Cost Plus World Market. So I don't know if you have one where you're at, but if you know and you do, there's always this little end cap or display of all the miniature foods you can find. So I always kind of peruse that area and see if I could find things. So I also found this asparagus. It was steamed with some different flavor profiles and I thought that would be a perfect bright color and something sweet. So I figured this was my final Thanksgiving holiday type board that I will do and the maple leaf just goes great. Now I get to plate. So we've got a couple of different options. This here I'm adding the cheese at the top, fanning it out, adding my salami, and then holding it in place with the quarters of the dried fruit. And then I'm adding some fresh fruit. I had to quarter the strawberries as well. So they are literally half and then down half one more time. I put one or two raspberries and blueberries. So I used a cracker, which I'll show you in a few minutes how I just basically broke them up into quarters. They're rectangular shaped crackers. And then I'm using the Gouda to stand them up and everything was so tiny that I had to use my chopsticks. Any excuse to use those, I will take because I love using chopsticks. So this board is basically done. As you can see, I am 
putting on the final touches and all of the herbs that I used were thyme, rosemary, and um, sage. So I just stuck some greenery where I could find the space and that one is complete and it's so perfect and adorable and now I'm just prepping to start my next board which I have the candy so here I if you see I just literally broke the cracker into quarters I'm adding the gouda if I didn't mention um, I added Marcona almonds so I did have a nut option as well so of course you can add whatever nut you have walnuts pecans um, all I, or excuse me <laughs> or Marcona almonds or regular almonds even and if you can't uh, I I know that the asparagus is definitely a specialty item, so please just interchange that with a cute little green olive. I think a green olive would go great. It's gonna be just as salty and yummy. So as you can tell, I was able to get two salami roses on that half piece of toothpick. So I basically got a toothpick, cut it in half, and then I was able to squeeze those two together and they just looked so cute side by side way better than one by itself so i highly recommend trying to do too many ones i added the nuts and the smoked goat cheese and my little discs of dried fruit and now i'm adding the fresh fruit so this one i could only put one strawberry one raspberry and one blueberry there's there you could not fit anything else on this, the rest of this board so I am I'm making sure to add a third because it just looked better in threes rather than in twos, which from, if you didn't watch my last video, I gave you some tips and usually you want to work with odd numbers. So as you can see, I went back to three pieces of cheese. I had to use those chopsticks once again to move some cheese around and add my asparagus here. And now I'm just kind of moving things around, clearing up my my table area so that I can get a better visual of where, which one I prefer best because both worked out perfectly. So now um, I have to make sure that I add my herbs. So I got my sage and I figured I would get two pieces of sage leaves and put them next to the rose. Oh, it just looks like a darling little set of roses. I just love that so much. And we're gonna add the final thyme and rosemary. So as I'm getting prepped to put all this on my plate, I just wanna thank you so much for watching. This is yet another video that I hope I can continue putting out for you. But this just brings me so much joy because if you know me, I love miniature things. And so food in a mini form is just my love language. So there is the first one and here is the second one. Both fit. I hope you find what you're looking for and have a great, great holiday season.